The revolution will not be televised. Hey's and hey's, it's Leopardess, and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is about what happened after I retwisted during my semi free form. So, before we begin, please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on Instagram at Leopardess underscore. If you like the earrings that I'm wearing, check them out on my website at leopardiscollection.com. Get 20% off right now using the promo code SUMMER. Also subscribe if you're interested in seeing what new stuff I have that comes to my website. But let's begin. If you who are new to my channel, I was semi-freeforming for a while, trying not to retwist for a period of time, and I had a lot of new growth. As you can see, I'm gonna insert so much videos here because I'm sorry guys, but I really hate retwisting my hair on camera. So I've recorded some of the footage and I have it here so I can kind of show you and explain to you what, you know, what happened during my retwist process, things that I noticed. So the first clip here is, you know, me with all my new growth. The oil that I'm using is my growth serum. You can find this on my website as well. And that's basically what I use on my scalp. For my edges, I use my edge serum, basically just you know, not retwisting and going about my everyday business. I have a video on, you know, the pros and cons of semi-free form. I talk about some of the cons. So for me, when I decided to retwist my hair, it was because the cons started taking over for me. And now remember, this doesn't apply to everybody. And that's why it's very important to know and understand your hair and understand when, okay, maybe something is not working for me anymore. Maybe I should try, maybe I should do something else. And I feel like I've done a very good job of understanding and learning my hair, understanding what it needs on like, you know, your hair basically speaks to you. It tells you what you need, it tells you what you don't. At this point, the cons were taken over, so I decided to retwist. So let me tell you guys, I am a very tender-headed person. I do not, this is one of the reasons I don't like people in my hair because no one will ever treat your hair the way you will treat it unless they're like an amazing stylist. And those are out there, but there are many people out here under the disguise of stylists that shouldn't be. But a lot of times you run into people who are very heavy handed with your hair. And I'm very, you know, I'm very tender headed. I, I don't like anyone just messing with my hair. So I do my hair myself. And never have I ever gotten such a bad headache for retwisting. But after going all that while without retwisting and trying to semi-free form, I immediately had a headache after I was done. And my hair wasn't even tight. It was so bad, like I had to like pop a pill real quick. I realized that my hair wasn't really used to the retwisting at that point and it was getting adjusted to it. Kind of like how you get braids and your head hurt a little bit, but for the tender-headed people out there, that little hurt feels like everything. So that happened. But it went away very swiftly after a while. But I was like, damn, raw was it worth it? Yes. So one thing that I also noticed is that there was a lot of frizziness around the root and the, the beginning of the lock. So I started to have like a, so I started to notice that I was having a lot of frizziness. And for me, I have ways in which I combat frizziness. But, but this was kind of getting out of control, which is why I decided I wanted to retwist my hair. And it wasn't like on my lock, it was more from here to the new growth. So I had about this much new growth, so I will put the video there. I had a good amount of, or picture. I had like a good amount of new growth. There was some breakage as well, so around the retwist, there was a little bit of frizziness that I personally don't like for myself. I kind of like my locks to run smoothly, but that's me. And right now I'm working on making sure I remove that frizziness. You can kind of see it right here. I'm working on maintaining that and calming down the frizziness in this section. Is it a big deal? Absolutely not, not. I'm just here to share my journey with you guys but I personally don't like the frizziness and that wasn't something that really happened when I kept my hair retwisted like every month. So a lot of that hair that broke is wrapped around, you know, the lock itself. So, you know, I'm making sure that that hair forms into the lock. That's gonna take a little bit of a while, but I'm okay with that. One thing that I did notice from those months of just not doing anything is that there was some locking in the hair, like the hair is forming. And I think that's really, really dope. So that's one thing that I'm really happy about because I'm like, okay, like this new growth needs to, it needs to lock up ASAP. And obviously it's not going to, but it was nice to see that, you know, something was coming of it. I feel after all that time with, you know, not really retwisting and, 
you know, part partially semi free forming. I feel good. Like, you know, I would say it's definitely an experience that you guys really have to try. I do prefer my hair. I do prefer roots in my hair. It's really weird for me right now having my hair so neat. Like, it feels nice. Like, after a while, you're like, oh, I feel like a retwist. And you do the retwist, and it's really nice, and, you know, it feels good. But as the days pass on, it's just like, I kind of don't like seeing my scalp. But what I need is more important. And that's one thing that I really want to, you know, stress upon in this video is that it's okay to feel different about your hair. You know, sometimes you walk, sometimes you may see people and they're going one way and you want to go the other way. And that's perfectly fine. You know, just always trust yourself. Always trust your hair. Always know what you want for yourself because at the end of the day, you're going to be the one walking around with it. But I definitely do want to do it again, but not for so long. But that, those were the main things I noticed. The headache, those are the one things I noticed. The frizziness around the root and like the beginning of where the area is locking. You know, I have some flyaways that I'm working on. But hey, hey, it's honestly all about the adventure for me and just learning new things and new methods with my hair. So some of the things that I'm doing to try to improve these things are things that, you know, are things that I feel like will work for my hair personally. Definitely share what happens, especially, you know, with the frizziness here. I'm pretty sure I got it on lock, so it won't be there for too long, but day by day process. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. I'm sorry I couldn't do the step by step. It's just, it's just very time consuming and you wanna make sure that, you know, you're doing all the right things with your hair, especially, you know, trying to see the back of your hair and seeing what's going on back there. If you guys don't know, I did upload a story time about how I almost fought my roommate. I also uploaded a get ready with me, just addressing, you know, some of the things that I receive in my inbox, stalkers, catfishes, all types of stuff. So make sure you guys check that out. I will be directing the channel more towards hair and lifestyle. I was virgin, I was originally leopardess life and beauty, but now I'm just leopardess and that kind of signifies everything. But I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more. And in the comments, tell me which one you prefer. Do you prefer to go semi-freeform? Do you prefer to retwist? Share that all in the comments below, but I appreciate you guys so much. Bye.